Hello, Hi guys. guys. It's Friday the 18th. Today we're reading Exodus chapter 28, verses 1 through 12. So if you haven't read it, here's a good place to pause and welcome back. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here today, Pastor Wes? Uh, God is telling us what to wear. God is telling us, oh, lots of colors and material for the priest's clothing, right? And it was very special. It was it had to be one of a kind, mm. and it was really beautiful and stunning, as our Potter's Wheel says. It was made that way. It was made that way to point people to God, who is beautiful. That's the purpose. That's the goal, right? Mm -hmm. The priests were set apart to walk in holiness before God, like the priests. We too, you and I too, are set apart to walk in holiness before God, not with clothing, but with a life devoted to God. And about this, now Pastor Wes is going to explain so much to you. Oh, kids, I, there's not a lot that I'm going to explain. I just want to hopefully keep it nice and simple for you. So when, when uh, um, Mr. Jack was talking about, when he's talking about being set apart for God, Actually, this begins when the people first came out of Exodus and they took uh, additional materials and scarlet and yarn, all different colors. God was thinking about this even before the people came out of Egypt. And so now they had all the materials to be able to, to adorn and, to put, and put together these nice clothes, these sacred clothes for the priest so that the priest would be set apart. Kids, think of it this way. If someone says to you, uh, I'm a policeman, okay? How do you know they're a policeman if they're not in their police uniform? Because they said it. But when you see them in their police uniform, you're like, aha, he's a policeman. Now I can see. You know what? It's the same thing for the Christian. Those of you that came to know Jesus Christ, there weren't a lot of people around. It was you and God. You and God had this personal encounter when you came to know Jesus Christ. But, and you probably went and told your friends and you told your parents, oh, I met Jesus. Well, how do people know you met Jesus since it was such a personal and intimate experience between you and Jesus? I can tell you how. They will know that you met Jesus each day you live out your life for Jesus. They will see the sacred clothes of righteousness all around you because you're living for Jesus. And as you live for Jesus, you begin to be Christ-like and look like Jesus. And people begin to say, aha, that person is acting and living just like Jesus that I read about in the scriptures. And they begin to see your uniform. They begin to see that you're set apart for Christ because now you're living, you're not just saying you are, people can see you are. And really interestingly, um, and this is the last thing I'll say, in Acts 10, I believe, um, with the first church, the first, the first church, this was the first time people were ever called Christians. Do you know who called Christians Christians? Do you think it was Christians? They said, let's get together, guys, and let's call ourselves Christians. That sounds good because, you know, I mean, you know, we are followers of Christ, so let's call ourselves Christians. No, it wasn't the church. It was the world looking at the church and said, we can see those people in the same uniform and who are acting and living out the same kind of lives is that Jesus Christ fellow who was here. The world saw them in their uniform and guess what? They called them Christians. You know what the word Christian literally means? Little Christ. Mm. Now, not in the sense that we're gods, but in the sense that we are following him, and by following him, we are representing him in the lives that we live. That's what my prayer is for you guys today, mm -hmm. that you would live your life, that people can see Jesus in you. Amen, amen. Let's end our time with prayer, guys. 
Father, we thank you. We thank you that you had planned for us. We thank you that you had purpose for us, Father. And we thank you that you had your love for us. Through your great love, Father, we are saved. Through your great love, Father, we became your children again, Father. So help us to live our lives as your children, as your follower, as your disciple, Father. Father, as we're meditating your word and learning and understanding your words, Father, and love zoners and joy zoners, we're even memorizing your words, Father. God, let your word live our lives. Father, we want to live out your word, but today we're asking for your help, Holy Spirit's help, so that your word will live our lives, so that we would become more like Jesus so that others will see us as Christian, so that we would point those people who don't know you, Father, to you, so that they will see Jesus, so that they will see the work of Jesus, so that they will feel the love of our Father God. God, keep, continue to help us, continue to mold us, continue to walk with us, keep protecting us, and just keep being with us, Father. We want our relationship to be stronger with you, Father. And we want to fellowship with you just like we did today. We thank you again. And in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Bye, guys. Thank you.